SoundBase is a cloud service available on the website, soundbase.app, where users can access the services. When you sign in, you'll be greeted by your projects page. Here we can create a new project or access our archived projects with these two buttons on the left top of the interface. I'm going to show you one I made earlier. I now can click on Cord or Nexus. In our case, I will click on Cord. We're now in the coordination environment. On the left, I have my group space. And here you can see some channels that I have already set up. On the right, I have my profile manager. This is where I can go to add in more devices. I can simply search for my device and choose what I am planning to run. In the middle is a multifunctional space where I can observe my stats, candidates, profiles, and more. And at the bottom is my spectrum space. Let's continue on. Back up to the top left and we will go into TV channels. This is the list of the TV grid at my event location. I have the chance here to exclude any other spaces as needed, which will automatically exclude them from my calculations. I can do this by scrolling down the list and changing the assignment. Next, we come to scan data. This is a standout feature of SoundBase as all users can upload and share any scans that they have done around the world for all other users to access. In here, we have the ability to upload our own scans manage any scans we have done or are working with, or search for a scan. In search, we can see we are presented with any scan done in the location of my event. We've chosen the one at the Orpheum Theater for our show. We did this by clicking on Copy to Project, and the scan data was loaded up, allowing me to see all the data from it in the Manage tab. We can see what type of device did the scan and the parameters of the scan. We can see the dynamic range, noise floor, and what frequencies we scanned. Let's go back to our coordination page. As you can see, I have three groups set up for my different systems. I have eight channels of Sennheiser Digital 6000 series for my mics. I have eight channels of PSM 1000 from Shure for my IEMs. And I have two channels of Lectrosonics DBU for my roaming interviewers. You can see that they are all color-coded, and if you look at the spectrum space at the bottom of the screen, you can see where they are all located. If I click on one of the channels, I will automatically go into the Profiles tab, and I can see how it is configured. And with this heart button, I can save the device profile so that I can quickly recall it in the future in my Profile Manager. This was, of course, a very quick introduction to the workspace inside SoundBase. In our next videos, we will take you deeper behind each section that we have looked at in this video and show you how to create, coordinate, and control your shows all inside SoundBase. We will show you the added functionality that we have with SoundBase Pro and prove to you that SoundBase really is the future of wireless planning and control.